Hey, tea time with tea. Just a little conversation. So, Biden and Putin. Hmm. Putin would like to have a debate, a public conversation. With Biden. Think about this. Putin has had four years of easy going, late night chit chats by unsecured phones with Donald J. Trump. <coughs> There have been several meetings, pardon me, outside of the United States where translators, the American translators, weren't allowed to be there. Ex-KGB representatives of the Russian government were actually escorted into our Oval Office. They've never been allowed there. Never been a meeting there. In the Gold Room, yes. But not in the Oval Office ever. Late night phone calls. Unmonitored calls. Hmm. Strings that could be pulled. A contingent of Republican senators flying to Moscow on the 4th of July. Never happened before. Ever. Hmm. And now, Biden called Putin a killer. Biden's been in government over 30 years. Biden's read a lot of briefings from our security and intelligence communities about Russia, about Putin. He didn't say that just as a slip of the tongue. You have to remember um, Nedvin, who wanted to run against Putin almost died back in August. He was poisoned by some kind of nerve agent. While he was in Russia, all the doctors kept saying, his sugar dropped. He's having, he, this is a reaction, this is a diabetic reaction. His wife, if she hadn't kept over and over going on the news saying, my husband's not a diabetic, he's never had any problems, he's never had any problem with his blood sugar, I need to get him to Germany. I need him out of out of these Russian hospitals now. Kept saying, kept saying. People asked Trump, "What do you think about him? Do you think possibly Putin has done something because he doesn't like him campaigning against him? Do you think Putin has anything to do with it?" Oh no, I spoke to him and he told me he, he had nothing to do with it. Just as supposedly, he told me he had nothing to do with bounties being placed on American soldiers' heads in Afghanistan. He had nothing to do with it. He wouldn't lie to me. He told me he did not interfere in the 2016 election. He had nothing to do with our campaign. He told me he didn't. And I believe him. To get through all of that, that means he had to ignore our intelligence agencies, our own investigations about Putin. Because he trusts him. He believes what he said. He believes an ex -K -K no, a KGB agent, a KGB trained agent, one of their top Agents. I believe he, he wouldn't lie to me. No. He said he had nothing to do with it.
for four years, Putin had a wingman called Donald J. Trump. No matter what, no matter who told him facts about Russia and about Putin, I see no reason why we would be, why, why we have this animosity, why we aren't friends. You see, but you don't want to see. Pulling strings. Our Republican Party is in deep trouble. They've forgotten where their loyalty lies. They don't want democracy. They want fascism. They want full control with no questions asked. That's right out of Putin's playbook. You know, no one Trump likes. Right now, the game that Putin is trying to play, I would like a public debate with Joe Biden. I'd like a public conversation with Joe Biden. People in hell want ice water. You're not getting it. Why? Because this president is focused on this country and helping the people in this country get through this pandemic. He's not looking for your approval. He doesn't care about your approval. He remembers you are a KGB agent. I know how you work. You need ammunition. And he's not giving it to you. He has business to take care of. He has allies to rebuild. He needs to keep his eye on you. And focus on America. And rebuilding his allies. You are not important to him. All he's telling you is he sees you, he knows your history, your deep history, just as he knows Korea's, North Korea's deep history. You don't get to try to play him. And you don't have any more late night, 2, 3, 4 a.m. in the morning calls with the head of the United States. That shit ended with Donnie Boy. No more secrets get slipped out while someone's trying to boast. You won't believe what they told me. Oh, you know this missile they're working on. Oh, you know we're planning on this. Da, 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 da. This was said in our briefing. No more of that shit. You don't have a bumbling idiot. A narcissist. Someone desperate for someone to pat them on the head and tell them a good boy. You don't have that anymore in our White House. And it shows. And it shows by way of the desperation. Putin can't stand someone telling him the truth and calling him exactly what he is, a killer. This is a president that doesn't forget the fact that three other competitors who are trying to run against you either vanished or died. Vanished just means no one ever found the body. You tried the same thing with Nedvin. He's calling you what you are. A killer. You can't stand somebody telling you the truth. Hmm. That's where we are right now. We'll see what comes up tomorrow. Tea time with tea. Just a little conversation. Y'all be well. Remember, trust the tea, not the Kool-Aid. Bye.